time to raise our hands to heaven and worship our great physician, the doctor of all doctors. Back a long time ago, the old barbers used to, sort of a lighthouse, they used to have on the, their post uh, the swirling blood because they would bleed people. And uh, it's an archaic, obsolete thing, just as religion that's unloving is also. So in this hour, it's time to raise our hands to heaven, open your palms wide. If you will not receive that which God sends you, I preach nothing but prophecy manifesting. And the Bible says that uh, we have no ground to stand upon unless we stand upon the gospel of love, uh, the prophets, and all revelation coming to you from the Lord. Actually, that was Muhammad. But uh, Paul, the apostle, said in Thessalonians that concerning prophecy, it must be examined most carefully, and all that is good must be embraced. I'm preaching unconditional love, and nobody is embracing it, proving that religion in this world, as judgmental and condescending and, and uh, condemning as it is, is totally obsolete. That is one of the biggest problems in our world, is uh, religious people shallow as a glass of water who could never receive the great bottomless ocean of our Lord's adoration, and they will not open their hands. They will not even look at nothing. I preach to white noise at this station, but that will change, and I'm not too worried about it. But one thing for sure, Jim Carrey says that he feels like we're all supposed to become like lighthouses. And that is very good uh, advice from our great white throne. And because we're supposed to reflect the light of love. And our job, Jim Carrey says, is not to hide or to ignore the brightest radiance of love anywhere. It, it is so that we can reflect such brilliance of love, uh, faithfulness. By the way, I'm Daniel from the north. Isaiah 41 predicted that of one who would come forth line by line, precept by precept, as a destroying storm to pull down distortionalities because I got fucking stammering lips as it is prophesied of one at the end time that will try to shock people. If, if I can't, uh, uh, if I'm preaching to nobody, no one's going to be offended by my language if I get a little indignant at people that are just being spiritual prudes, racists, and bigots out there. So uh, it is important to realize that uh, uh, the reason Jim said what he says, he says that we all have a job to shine such light with passion and celebration as brightly as we can into the darkness. But here at this channel, uh, you are all fired, every single one of you who have been following this channel. Go away. You, you bother me like a, a, a tick on a, a flea on a dog. Just you won't say hello, you won't like anything, just fuck off. How's that? But one thing's for sure, I'm looking for some new blood, as hot as the Lamb of God who spilled his before the foundation of the world for absolutely all people not committing the unforgivable sin of letting their love become so greatly desensitized like the people that won't like this station that even though they want to imagine that they too are lighthouses if they're honest with themselves they'll only awake to find out that their light bulb has completely gone out rendering them into nothing but dry wells so love from love hope from hope and peace from peace for all those only for those liking lords uh, unconditional love, all others I wish God's curses of hatefulness to consume them from within because they're not embracing love. So it's time that people are going to sow what they reap and reap what they sow. I feel sorry for people spitting at this channel. And so a curse would be all others by their very own ignorance. And when the love of Christ exploded into my heart, I received the glory of his most loving inspiration. And as the Lord's most amazing kingdom age word uh, came forth from our Prince of Peace's love unto myself, Daniel of Canada, one from the north of Isaiah 41, it held the presence of his love, it held the strength of love's most unifying, loving 
compassion and it held the fearlessness of the most blissful tranquility of Christ's most perfect preparation of his fast arising kingdom age peace once people get with the program of love. And then our roaring lion of Zion, he roared that Israel has now fully inherited all mankind, as Isaiah 54, 3 foretold. And Israel's new name is Chrislam, Isaiah 62, 2, because God says unto all people of the world, the words of Jeremiah 31, he says to the alcoholic and to the prostitute and to the Islamic and to the Hindu and to the Christian and to the Jew, all people keeping their love alive as a child for those who love are born of God and know God because God is love, First John, for some. He says, I am your God. You are all my people. I forgive all your iniquity and I shall never remember it. I shall write my law and my love upon your hearts. And beyond that, no more shall anyone even need to be taught of me once you realize my love has always been unconditional. And you are hearing it from my messenger of Malachi 3.1 by my word of Jeremiah. That's going to tear down all religion on earth. Jeremiah 1.10, Haggai 2.2, 2, to tear down all kingdoms of man's imaginations not built solely upon his unconditional love. The perfect has come and the imperfect is now obsolete and shall vanish away as Hebrews 8 last sentence declares of all religion upon planet earth from this time forward. And so in this hour, uh, we need to see that his love then shined into my most ex excited spirit as a million lighthouses unto me by his living word. Uh, it was electrifyingly beautiful and the presence thereof uh, brought forth brand new kingdom age hopes abundantly into my heart so that I could pass them on to his beloved. And it then held the fantastic, awesome power of the most glorious whirlpool of Christ's loving blessedness that was coming from his incoming living water like, like crashing waves on the shore of the lighthouse. And then instantly uh, that presence of love shouted down everything not born of his unconditional love. Uh, for his glory shall now be covering the earth as waters covering the sea, as grass covering the lands, and as sands covering the deserts. So let all loveless people watching this unlike video of love have a change of heart and begin liking this Kingdom Age channel, or the Lord won't have any problem with such blinded assholes having some well-sighted demons crammed right up their asses uh, by the this, this satanic world that they're embracing. For if you choose not to embrace love, you're going to get the opposite by your own curse <laughs> upon yourself. And uh, so for all those embracing love's cruelest uh, rejection uh, by snubbing the message of Christ's love here at this station, they shall receive death early like a cancer if they're not careful. Uh, because to be loveless is to bring cancer and garbage into your lives. And so know that this channel has been receiving uh, nothing but ignorance from all those in the land of the walking dead who only, all everyone listening to me, only has an appearance of godliness as they deny and unlike this channel's greatest power of love that I'm trying to get across into this loveless world that's clearly foretold to be cast over all flesh in the book of uh, Joel 2 and Acts 2. For the Lord God loves all people identically. He has never had any favorites. And let all of my forthcoming new friends choose to put their love in action like lighthouses as they reflect, begin reflecting Christ's unconditional love to themselves from within their deepest heart of hearts. And let all those not wanting, uh, let all not wanting to ru rudely ignore YouTube's brightest light of love unbounded herein at this channel. Uh, 10,000 videos. Uh, let them now choose the ways of the Lord of love's unquestionable, unconditional love. I am the latter day Elijah, Matthew 17, 11. I'm restoring all things, uh, proving that we have all been created equal. And uh, Christians do not believe that noise. They don't believe anybody loves except them. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. They don't believe that Hindus love, Islamics, alcoholics. You, nobody loves. Everybody else has to go to hell. It's backwards, false bullshit. They got the true God and false bullshit doctrines. 
And so it's time that we need to see that we can finally become like life-saving lighthouses as we joyfully shine the Lord's greatest light of love, uh, love's most passionate wildfire to the world. Let us just be as mirrors. So let all those of love now, now stop procrastinating. Do it no longer as we all voluntarily become lighthouses in other people's very worst storms of hatefulness and ignorance who is their false unloving God of an on-again, off-again, conditional kind of love that could never even possibly exist. For as soon as you put conditions, any kind of conditions, whatsoever love, love instantly ceases to exist, period. And that is the end of a very true story. And let the wise wanting to shine as our rising sun of love now see that the scars that they share become lighthouses for others who are headed to the very same rocks that have hit them. So blessed are all those of open hearts, for they alone can come to see that the more sand is escaping from the hourglass of our lives, the clearer that we should be able to start seeing through that. And most blessed are those knowing that it's the job of some pretty small minds to shrink. That's their job, like everybody that does not like these videos. But anyone liking this video and all my others whose conscience approves their peaceful ways, only those kind of loving people with their love as a verb and action will passionately pursue the principles of divine love herein, uh, line by line, precept by precept. I am the strong and mighty one, tearing down as I come, as a destroying storm, one who has stammering lips. If I'm going to try to shock this world into uh, waking up, I guess I got to. But one thing, it is time to, to embrace peaceful days. And as the foretold veil of Isaiah 25 and the foretold veil of Isaiah 60 is removed off the latter day mountain, as it says in Isaiah 25, know that the veil, as the veil of gross darkness is totally removed from off the nations, from off the, the Lord's latter day mountain of spiritual food that was foretold to be covering the mountain. Who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away? It's the dude, the latter day Daniel, Daniel 12, 13, who embraces his destiny because he's going to feed the master's household meat because the people of God have had milk so long, their teeth are all rotten and they got really lousy breath. <laughs> They're all joking aside, the skies over them shall increasingly, the ignorant shall, and the arrogant and the proud, shall increase, increasingly seem to be coming even blacker around them as the most eerie presence of the gross darkness of love's truest understandings then haunts such fools who are only worshipping ignorance of love's most perfect ways by embracing the ongoing continual stupidness of not promoting this channel of passionate unconditional love for all of us uh, in our most loveless world. Accursed be such idiots embracing such racist ignorance as their softest pillows. They are only vipers in the flesh who are completely toxic as they curse themselves as a self-fulfilling prophecy that all bigots of love's transcendence experience. And as our majesty of majesty's word, it shall now come forth to shatter all the power of the holy people all over the globe, exactly as Daniel 12, 7 so accurately predicted, because God loves us all the same. There is no difference in his love, no variance at all, or he would be a sinner because he would be a respecter of men, and that is what a respecter of man is, is a sinner. Uh, and so the Lord's dove of love now comes forth as the most regal eagle of the eons with the whitest of wings. And that most regal eagle is now using heaven's strongly, strongest spotlight to shine love's purest light over the greatly polluted seas of mankind's total insanity of our love deficit, over uh, our schizophrenic definitions of love. And as our beloved love's lighthouse of overflowing hope and mercy shines into the, the darkness, it shall become like a solar flash of the sun's greatest flares gone completely zany to the mass. And as our Ancient of Days allows his greatest wildfire of love 
to be reflected by his faithful few, then only then could all people becoming lighthouses of peace finally begin spinning endlessly at night while, uh, as a lighthouse while love's grandest light of beauty searches the darkness ahead of them for miserable, broken hearts that they can shine the light of hope unto. Uh, and so it's time to awake people out of the, their loveless states because nobody like that could ever like the channel anything that I've done and that is who has been watching so go away everybody that's watching leave this channel rot so that all people will be destroyed there shall be no birds no fish no mankind left upon uh, this planet so fuck right off go away just stop listening to me please let the, let the, they go down to zero views if you want to be an insane idiot so let the wise look at their own black rock, which they have nailed down, their unmoving, abandoned love, as demons begin circling them like some starving vultures to turn their brains inside out. So be not like a stupid crow cawing endlessly, but be like rather seagulls of love. Instead, be flying high in the sky. Uh, and then let your lighthouse of love to share uh, your light as you search endlessly the seas day after day as you lean upon the rail engrossed in love's most gleeful frolic like the freest spray of frothing cra crashing waves that's hitting the crystal headlands of the coast the crashing waves at the base of your lighthouse so let your love shine as you embrace love's word of hope herein, and then it'll come to pass that all of the Lord's faithful few shall evermore be able to reflect on such a glorious light of Christ's magnificence, of his most love, loving, everlasting beneficence, his charity and benevolence and, and motion, which is the mercy of his love. And upon this mountain, the Lord desires to remove all shame, all guilt from off all people of the world as he removes the veil from off this Latter-day Mountain. That's what Isaiah 25 says. And that's the Latter-day Mountain of Isaiah 60. The Lord is arising as the sun of righteousness, the sun of love, to destroy all of our gross darkness of love so that we stop thinking we have any love at all if it's not moving. To think that we have any love at all if we're placing conditions on our love, then we have no love and we're deceiving ourselves. So then let all those shining loves, radiance of the Lord's own everlasting glory, let them now discover a grace that's far too ex ex uh, exquisite to even imagine beforehand. People could never see the forest for the trees. But now, if they'll only open the eyes of their closed hearts, they can finally behold the most beautiful picture springing forth from the midst of their very own lighthouse pictures. Uh, and as an endless dream comes shining out of their sleep, they shall arise in the power of love with kindness going before them as smiles, until faking it even until they make it if necessary. So let all hateful people now abandon their loveless journey in the darkness so they can stop being embraced so cruelly by ignorance's fleeting phantom of the fog. Uh, and as all people come safely into happy harbors, they will leave behind such darkest darkness behind them. And then they shall receive endless thrills as they receive love's greatest rapture, uh, reflecting the pearly gates' ivory gleam. And then because of uh, uh, their searchlights, because of their saving light they've extended, because of that all rescued by their light, shall then suddenly behold many wondrous rays of hope's greatest glory and hope for the future, until it wears the wonder of a dream. So leave now your former lonely twilight hour and look uh, at the world through love's eyes as the wise look forth from his old towering lighthouse of brand new hopes. And when the sunset glow has faded into the west, and into the east, and into the north, and into the south. 
Only then could smart people of love in motion as a child awake, born again, those who love are born of God and know God, because he is love. Only then could they finally be able to see the distant things steeped in the purple of that Lord of kings and king of lords, for he is our majesty of majesties. He is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. He is our carpenter of the ages. He is our ancient of days. He's the roaring lion of Zion who's crying out his roar as soft as a kitten's softest purr unto those with any discernment of love whatsoever. And while the breezes come to chill at the, at the night's behest, then shall the lamb's crimson color from the air become as new anchors within the night for all people as he becomes the Lord God, the good shepherd over all the flocks of man as he predicted would happen in these latter days in John 10. So let all people of verb-like love see that love's interval of deepened twilight shall grow if they will start liking this channel, promoting the love I, I am preaching. Otherwise, what does that say about you? But know that the gleaming streaks of his love's brightest light shall evermore shine as a star and supernova from our towers of the night as the loving servants of that king of kings sends their word of love reflecting his unto every passing ship coming or going. So let all with dead love get out of the land of the walking dead or just flip away, flip, go away. Uh, where their love has only become a noun instead of a, a, a verb, as people like that desensitized and uh, unwilling to share their love as they commit the unforgivable sin of letting Christ's blazing love within them to wax totally cold. And as such, people could never be as a lighthouse because they could only just survive and never thrive. So woe unto any, any unlit lighthouses, for they are all alone on an island bleak and bare, listening to the breakers moan, shivering in the chilly air, looking inwards towards an empty hill on whose top one aged trees wrestles with the storm's wind's will, rushing wrathful from the sea. And so it's time to lift your hands up to heaven and it's time to get your love passionate moving forth as a storm because we got the light shining at us that's going to tear down everybody's bullshit <laughs> i hope